Boogie drop that beat. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Talking Out Loud, with Miss Talking of Everything I Say is My Own Opinion, alleged is strictly entertainment purposes. Remember, I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video, let me know what you think. I was watching Color Me Pink's channel, and she stated that Ashley Silver from Love and Marriage DC is allegedly quitting the show. Now I'm no fan of Ashley, and only reason, and I just can't get with her. I think she's a mean girl. She's too aggressive, and she don't know how to be subtle. She doesn't. It's like she did have to take. She. She doesn't know how to respond. She always has to respond aggressive, and I just I don't know. She just seems like a mean girl to her to me, and. I have to ask, is, is she quitting because she thought she was going to be the fan favorite this year and she wasn't perceived the way she thought she was supposed to be perceived, but the way she actually showcased herself. And so she didn't like the way people um, were perceiving her because she, to me, she is a mean girl. She perceived, I perceived her as a mean girl. Now, I do like Arena and her husband, the Tylers. So, I do watch for them. But Ashley, I just can't get with. And I do, however, understand what she went through um, growing up. And I do give her grace because of that. So, but other than that, I do believe she's a mean girl. But then I have to say I have to think about Monique her castmate left the show at the beginning of the season and I'm like two in one season Carlos what's going on because it seems like to me this is clearly a, this is clearly a case of in the wrong mix um Stop worrying about other people's mess and worry about your own drama. Clean your own house up while you're trying to tear down others. You were so worried about the Bravo Network, Andy Cohen's multitude of shows compared to yours. And it seemed like you losing castmates by the season. So, my question is, what's going on with your shows? Because from what you stated out of your mouth, you have several uh, applications, uh, videos, subscriptions, where people trying, uh, people lining up to be become a cast on a Kingdom Reign entertainment production. So, why are the people that's already cast Trying to abort ship. Something ain't right, Carlos. I smell this is you. This is the Kingdom Rain production. Are you trying to um, twist these people's lives to make it into what you want to make it into? Now, I know the Silvers and the Tylers, they got their own money, so they don't need you to make up um, no fake phony businesses for them. But at the same time, I wouldn't uh, put nothing past you with that drama. And you probably making it far worse than what it is. That's my opinion. You were so worried that these other shows not showing they real. That you can't even tend to your own shows. I haven't heard you say anything about bill collectors in I don't know how long. You steadily promoting Bravo. All I see, all I hear about is Bravo 
Bravo, bravo. Real Housewives of Potomac, Giselle this and Juan Dixon this. I don't hear you calling out Latrice or none of them over there at Bell Collective. I ain't seen you post them. You have an interview after interview with everybody but your, but your own people. Carlos, what's going on? Why are your people belling on you? Why is everybody trying to jump ship on Love and Marriage DC? Or is it because they say they don't have to put up with whatever you dishing out? Because from my understanding, even Marceau, the Scots from Love and Marriage Huntsville was going to bell on you from Love and Marriage Huntsville because... Um, they couldn't take the heat, but oh no, Mr. Carlos told them they don't have to show their lives. They could just concentrate on black and they don't have to answer no questions. They don't have to do anything. And they got away with it for five seasons until the people start calling them out and digging up the stuff themselves. So you did more harm than good by telling these people that they don't have to show anything. And now you want to say either show your uh, show your reality or get off the show. And people start calling your people out left and right. And which made you to scramble and have to make up these businesses and um, people giving expos. How you presenting an expo? A business expo, but you ain't got no business to present. Make it make sense. You got these people going on fake panels and um, grand marshals and all these parades and stuff, make it seem like they doing big things, and they really and trying to play in our face, trying to make these people into being something that they're not. Because you got them all on the reality show trying to be bigger than what they are. You got these people lying. Um, with the IRS watching, talking about they done made $17 million and they already in a lawsuit. Make it make sense, um, Carlos. So, my question is, what's going on? What you, uh, what you doing to your shows? What you doing to your people that's making them want to just bail on you like this? Mid-season? Something ain't right, Carlos. <laughs> But I'll wait. I'll wait for the rest to come out. So if it's if she wind up quitting, I don't know. But something's wrong somewhere. You need to get off Bravo Network and come back to the own network and, and mind the business that actually pays you. Just my opinion. I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video. Let, let me know what you think.